वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द टुडे चैप्टर मै सेल्फ पूजा हेगाजे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन द अल्टरनेटिव बिल्डिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ फेरो सीमेंट सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज फेरो सीमेंट और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फेरो फेरोक्रीट फेरो कॉन्क्रीट बिल्डिंग कंपोनेंट्स so in this the main important thing is what do you mean by ferro cement ferro cement is a composite material which has mortar reinforced with light steel fibers or mesh used to form thin sections now these sections are very thin than the normal rcc uh, components whenever any rcc component is there though the diameters are huge that is comparatively we use more than 6 mm diameter bars here the diameter is in mm but they are very less 10 to the minus 3 in that level we will be having the meshes now here this image shows you the uh, the reinforcement that we are going to use for the ferro cementing now the whatever this mesh is been shown over here this is our actual reinforcement required and these bars which are shown in the horizontal and the vertical direction these are merely for the support of that mesh in this the construction process is the first of all in this process we are going to form the shape that is required for us using the mesh like the chicken wire mesh or the expanded metal mesh that is these are the examples of some of the wire meshes now in this also you are having high expanded and medium expandable wire meshes so the image that is being shown over here it is for the medium expanded wire mesh now the ex next example whatever is here these are heavy expanded wire mesh the difference between medium and the heavy uh, expanded wire mesh is the thickness of the wire mesh in the light expanded wire uh, wire mesh or the medium one the thickness is lesser when we compare with the heavy expanded wire mesh now let's go about the construction process in the construction process as i've told you first you have to require first to require to work on the what kind of element do you require what is the shape of the and the size of the element required once we know the shape and size we are going to have multiple layers to achieve that density of the steel so that the whole structure is a stiff structure you can have the stiffness increment by your small reinforced bars a stiff mortar is then applied on both the sides of the layer of the reinforcements and this is known as armature and finish to the thickness required okay the stiff mortar that is applied on both the sides that is called as the armature now let us go about the step by step procedure of the construction now in the first process or in the first step the skeleton of the framework is done by using the wire mesh and it is tied together using the thin wire like we use the ties and or it, it you can ha even have the welding been done a minimum of two layers of wire mesh is required and depending upon the design you are going for maximum up till 12 layers also you can go after doing this now in the shown image they are constructing a tube like thing and the skeleton is been shown in the next image you can see there are the application of the mortar being taking place now in this what they do the application of mortar takes place when firstly you have to the cement sand and stabilizers or you can say the adhesives are carefully in proportion 
either by way batching in the dry process or in the dry method they are then mixed well and then water is added it like normally what we do the same process first we mix them very well and then the water is added hand mixing is normally preferred than the machine mixing because machine mixing produces more uniform mixes reduce manual effect and saves time the mix must be workable but as dry as possible for greater final strength and to ensure that it retains its form and position before applicate before application and hardening so is here in this is the next image you can see over here next first of all next the process is after checking the stability of the firm work a wire mesh of the wire mesh reinforcement the motor is applied either by hand or with trowel and thoroughly worked into the mesh to close all the voids this can be done in a single application that is finished finishing both sides before initial setting time takes place for this two people are needed to work simultaneously on both the sides next so in the image you can see over here the people are working on both the sides that is inner side as as well as the outer side because the mixture is not that liquid it is a dry mixture with very little amount of water so we have to apply it as early as possible the next method is or the sorry the next step is thicker structures can be done in two stages that is plastering to half thickness from one side allowing it to cure for weeks after which the other surface is completed compaction is achieved by beating the mortar with trowel or flat piece of wood care must be taken not to leave any reinforcement exposed to the surface the minimum mortar cover required is 1.5 mm each stage of plastering should be done without interruption preferably in dry weather conditions or under cover and protected from sun and wind as in concrete construction as let we do in the normal in the concrete construction ferro cement should be moist cured for at least 14 days the uses of this can be done in the residential buildings community centers precast housing elements corrugated roofing sheets wall panels next we have in you can have even in the water supply and sanitations the applications in the water supply and sanitation are construction of water tanks sedimentation tanks swimming pool linings well casing septic tanks then application of ferro cement in agriculture is um, construction of grain storage bins silos canal lining pipes shelves for fishes and pottery then the application of this ferro cement in renewable energy is construction of biogas digesters biogas holders insulators panels for solar energy collectors then the other applications of this ferro cement are you can use in bus shelters industrial industrial shelters pedestrian bridges skate skateboard rings sculptures etc okay for this we end with the today's topic in the next class we will be going on with the other topic till then thank you